Hey guys, Coach Fuller here with another edition of At Home PE with Coach Fuller. This is class number nine. Thank you guys for joining me for another day of home physical education. I want to welcome you and remind you that this is about a 30-minute physical education class that can be done anywhere in your home with limited space. During today's video, I want you to be on the lookout for today's heart fact or heart word of the day, brought to you by the American Heart Association and Kids Heart Challenge. Materials needed for today. You are going to need a piece of paper. Any piece of paper will do. Something you have writing on, something you don't have writing on, doesn't matter. I always encourage you guys to have water nearby, a positive attitude, attitude, and then today, I want you to have your thinking cap on because today we're gonna exercise the body and the mind. We're gonna keep you guys sharp. So, if you need to pause and go find the equipment, you can, and if you're ready to move on, here we go. Okay. Today's objective, I will be able to follow the exercises on the screen. My goal is to increase my heart rate into the moderate to vigorous heart rate zone and exercise my whole body for 30 minutes or more. Remember, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. If you need to modify something, modify it. If you need to increase the intensity, increase the intensity. This is your workout. You put in what you need to get out from it, but I hope that you guys really, really push yourselves to increase that heart rate and uh, work that whole body. Okay. Warm up time. My son said this is his favorite one we've used so far. This dog cracks me up. So today we're gonna do a really fun activity called paper fitness. And so I got this idea from Phys Ed Review. He always has the coolest ideas. And so I kind of took with it and ran with it to make our uh, warm up activity today. So this is where you will need a piece of paper. And then my husband had a great idea. He said, you know, since you're exercising with it, you should put something that motivates you. So I am gonna take a marker and I am going to draw what motivates me. And I'll show you here in a second. Okay. This is going to be my motivation, my exercising today. My students at MHG and then my family because I love them so much. So I'm going to have that looking at me while I'm exercising, motivating me to keep working. So today we're gonna to complete these exercises you see on the side of your screen, and I will pause each time to explain and demonstrate, and then we will do the exercise for 60 seconds, or I'm sorry, 50 seconds, 50 seconds. So I am going to kind of get set up, and I will explain the first exercise. So our paper is actually gonna go on the floor, and so you can put it wherever you have a safe space around. I don't know if you guys can see mine. I might need to back up a little bit, okay? And we are going to start with two feet together, side to side jumps. And I really want you to focus on squeezing that body together, light on the toes, and we're just going to hop side to side. Now, if you are on a wood floor like mine, please be mindful of the paper being slippery. If you have carpet, it's a good idea to put it on that. But make sure we're not separating those feet. I really want feet together and hop. Again, you pick your intensity level, you pick your speed. So I'm gonna start our timer. 50 seconds, join me for side to side jumps. Three, two, one. Great job, you guys. I'll stay back. Light on those toes. Our next exercise is going to be plank tap. So we're going to get in that plank. We're going to tap side to side. 
things I want you to think about is having a flat back, okay? Not, as we say, triangles or bellies. I want flat back, okay? So join me in a plank position. Put the paper up in front of you in between your two arms. And 50 seconds of plank taps. Here we go. So I'm in that plank, I'm gonna tap, tap. Flat back. Great job, halfway there. Keep that back foot. Four, three, two, one. Excellent job, you guys. How are you feeling? Hopefully that body's starting to get warm. You're starting to feel those triceps and that core engaged. Okay, we're gonna move to the legs and we're gonna do a one foot toe tap with our right leg, okay? So we're gonna use that paper on the floor to give us the target. And we're gonna target just one leg, okay? And I'm gonna bring that leg up and just barely tap the paper. And we're just gonna focus on the right leg and focus on our balance. So I'm trying not to fall over and flop over, but find my balance. Okay, 50 seconds, toe taps on one leg. So I'm gonna stand right here, down and up. But I don't put it flat, just the tip of my toe. Find some good balance and something to focus on. Great job. You should feel this in the glutes, in the hamstrings, and the quads. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Great job, you guys. How's that leg feeling? Good. Okay, our next one, we're gonna work on our abdominals and our obliques, and we are going to do sit-ups where we have our paper in between our feet. We're gonna come up and tap with a different hand each time we come up. So go ahead and get set on the ground. 50 seconds of work. Join me for sit-up touches. Tap with one hand. Great job, you guys. Four, three, two, one. Excellent work, you guys. Very nice. Okay. Now, we did the right leg with our toe taps. Now we need to work the other side. So get your paper set, find your balance, and we're going to use our left leg and do our toe tap touches. Go ahead and get set. 50 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Find that balance, just a little tap. Our core's engaged. Our glutes are tightened up, our hamstrings are pulling. Very nice. Keep that toe pointed down to the floor. Excellent, you guys. I'll stay there. Four, 
Three, two, one. Woo, excellent. I can feel the burn in that one for sure. What about you guys? Woo, shake those legs out for a minute. Grab a sip of water if you need. Good, definitely starting to feel the burn. It's a good burn. Okay, we're gonna now move on to our triceps. So triceps are located on the back of our arms. And so tri is that prefix that means three. So there's three muscles right there. And we're gonna do crab tricep tap. So join me in the floor like a crab. Put the paper behind you in between your arms. I'm gonna set our timer. And we're gonna work those, oh, I went too far ahead. Sorry guys. Here we go. Okay. Great. So I've got it behind me. I'm gonna tap, tap. Good, so just a little tap, but I've got my hips up. Okay, I'm not done here on the ground. Hips up. I've got those triceps engaged. Great job, keep those hips up. to feel those triceps engage on the back of the arms. Very nice. Okay, this next one, super fun. We're gonna stand, jump, clap our feet together, and land. So you wanna come up above the paper and land on either side of the paper. So kind of like we're doing a uh, leprechaun dance or something like that. So get your paper set in between your feet. Join me for 50 seconds. Three, Foot two, clap. Four. All right, we should be careful with these. I'm gonna jump. Good, there we go. Good, focus on leaning soft on those feet. Halfway there. challenge today. So for this one, you guys get to be the teacher. You are going to come up with your own exercise. You can do just one or you can try a few, but for 50 seconds, I want you moving your body around your paper. So I'll give you a minute to think. I have some ideas. Now, I'm not sure if they'll work or not. If they work, great. If not, try something new. Okay, get set on your paper. You create your own activity. Here we go. Oh, I did it again. Sorry, guys. Three, two, one. Take your little message, tuck it away so it's out of the way, 
And I'd love to see what you guys came up with. If you want to share with me on social media, use the hashtag HPE at home or M-H-E-P-E. -E. I'd love to see what paper ideas you guys came up with. Okay, moving on to that slide that kept trying to creep up. Fun fact for the day. I love this one. And I picked it because I always have to remind my son of this as well. But did you know that that blob of toothpaste that sits on your toothbrush actually has a name? I never knew this. It's called a nurdle. A nurdle. That's right. Spelled right there. So you can share that fun fact with your friends and family. Now, this is important because I want to remind you guys that even when we're at home, it is still important that we brush our teeth at least two times a day. It means when we get up in the morning, got a brush means definitely right before you go to bed, got a brush, okay? So make sure we're getting in that teeth brushing. And as you're squeezing the toothpaste on, you can say hi to your little nurdle. Hi, nurdle. Some fun for today. <laughs> All right, moving on. Today's main activity today is an exercise for the brain and the body. And I got this from Kevin Tiller at Phys Ed Review. And this is Rebus Fitness. And so these are kind of um, devices. So pictures that we put together to solve what it is that it wants us to do. So all of these are exercises. So I want you guys to look at this one down here. What is this first picture? What do you see? A bear or teddy bear and then baby. but teddy bear baby doesn't make sense. So let's think of some of the things that those do. What do babies do? Cry, uh, crawl. What if we put together bear, crawl? Does that make sense for an exercise? That's right. And so we would do one bear crawl. And so that's just our example for today. So each slide, I'm going to give you a few minutes to talk it through. Say some words, I'll help you talk it out. And then once we uh, figure it out, we will go to the floor and complete that exercise. Are you guys ready? Okay, remember, working the brain and the body today. Okay, here we go. All right, look at these pictures. We've got two pictures we're gonna put together. We have a girl, we have an arrow. Let's see, what is the girl doing? She's sitting, okay, and where is the arrow pointing? up. Can you put that together? That's right. If you said sit up, you're correct. So we're going to do eight sit-ups. Join me on the floor. Excellent. Excellent job, you guys. Okay. Eight sit-ups. Great job. Okay. Next picture. Let's look. All right. I see a girl again. What are those things? I know I've seen them before. Okay. I've narrowed it down. These are jacks. What exercise? What is this girl doing in the picture? Jumping. So let's put those two together. You said jumping jacks. You are correct. We're going to do 15 jumping jacks. Join me for our activity. Excellent job, you guys. Very nice. Ooh, good one. Okay, next puzzle. Okay, talk it through. What do you see? See a crab? See a boy? Ooh, I got it. Do you have it? Did you say crab walk? That's right. So I want you to do one crab walk. I want you to start at one point and walk all the way to another. I'm gonna start down by my sofa and walk back to you guys. All right, I'm getting down like a crab. One crab walk. Here I come. Woo! Good job, you guys. Okay, next puzzle. Whew. 
This one has me stumped a little bit. What about you guys? Have you figured it out yet? Bricks. Ooh, we saw this one earlier with her. It's not a girl. What is she doing? Sitting. Okay, we've got the second part. What's the first part? Let's put it together. Anybody got it? Wall sits. That's right. We're going to do 30 seconds of wall sits. So pick your space. Here we go. So you want to sit like you're down in a chair. Your legs are at a 90 degree angle like somebody could come sit on you. 30 seconds. We're going to hold it. You want to do your challenge. Hold those arms out. Okay, Woo. Okay, next exercise. Give you a minute to think about it. Hmm. Okay. Have an idea. What are you guys thinking? I see this thing. This looks like an arm. Okay. And what do you make of this? What shape do you see in all of those? Circle, so let's put it together. Arm circles. That's right, we're gonna do 30 arm circles. Join me. I'm gonna stop you. We're gonna go 30 the opposite direction now. So I'm gonna be going backwards. Here we go. With those arm circles. So we did 60 in total. 30 front, 30 back. High five. Way to go. Okay. That means we're halfway through our Revis challenges today. And that means that it's time to pause, get a sip of water if you need. And if you are working with the Kids Heart Challenge activity log, you will grab your log. If you are in my class, you will grab a piece of paper because today's heart word of the day is cholesterol 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 is a weight a waxy fat like substance found in cells the human body makes cholesterol but it's also found in foods if a person has high cholesterol it can lead to heart disease and so it's important to keep an eye out on cholesterol so if you need to you can pause the video so you can copy down this word of the day brought to you by kids heart challenge and the american heart association and don't forget to share your workouts on social media using the hashtag kids heart challenge hashtag move more hashtag american heart association and hashtag hpe at home so that heart word for the day for my students is cholesterol. All right, again, if you need to pause to finish up, you can. If not, we're going to finish the second half of our Rebus challenges. Here we go. Okay, get that thinking cap back on. This one stumps me. I think about this one for a minute. Okay, so take a whole look at this picture. I bet you narrow down this part. What is this part? Knees. That's right. So knees of the body, but this one got me. It's not about the monkeys. What is this word right here? Low. So what is the opposite of low? High. So let's put it together. High knees. That's right. All right, 20 high knees. Join me for my exercise. Here we go. Knees up. Excellent, 
you guys. 20 high knees. Very nice. Good job figuring that one out. Okay, next challenge. Hmm. Okay, talk through it. Tell me what you see. I see a button. I see an arrow. What's he doing to the button? Pushing. Okay, where's the arrow pointing? Up. Oh, oh, put it together. Push up. That's right. We're going to do 10 push ups. You can do the full fitness gram push ups, or if you want to modify with me, you can go down on your knees. Join me on the floor for 10 push ups. Here we go. Excellent job, you guys. Ten excellent push ups. Very nice. Okay, next challenge. Ooh, I love this picture. <laughs> Take a minute, try to put it together. Let me help you out at the end. What letters are these? And when you have them, we're gonna string them together for E. So what is this guy doing? I live in a house of boys, so I hear these a lot. Did you figure it out? It's a burpee. Burpee. So we're gonna do 15 burpees. Go ahead and get set in your exercise space. 15 burpees, here we go. You can jump or not, you pick. you guys. Whew. That one got my heart rate up. Definitely sweating a little bit. It's a good thing, right? Yeah. Whew. I'm going to take a minute, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more time in and out. Okay. Fun one. Give you a minute to think about it. What? And this one's perfect with our fact of the day. So he talks about brushing teeth today. What else should you be doing when you're brushing? That's right, floss. And we've learned this year that the floss is actually a dance. So we're gonna floss 20 times. Join me. We see your best floss action. Excellent, you guys. Huge shout out to my students who taught me this year how to floss. It's actually come in handy. I use it a lot more than I thought I actually would. Okay, let's put this puzzle together. What do you see? Okay. What do you see? Talk it out. What are these in the picture? Mountains. Very nice. Okay. What do you think this guy's doing? Have you seen that before? He might be climbing. Did you put it together? Mountain climbers. That's right. 15 mountain climbers. Join me down at the floor. Pick your level. Pick your intensity. Here we go. Excellent. 
Excellent. Hopefully you counted each leg as one, one, two, two, so you've got an even workout. If you need to fix that, go ahead. Okay. Whew. Guys, can you believe it? We made it. We made it through our paper challenge. We made it through the Rebus challenge. You guys are into firecracker today. Three, two, one. All over. Man, you guys, awesome. Awesome job today. Whew. I am sweating. So, favorite part of the day is to bring back everything into that mindful minute. We had such a good workout. Now it's time to cool down the body. It's time to give our brain a chance to relax and self-regulate, decrease our stress, decrease our anxiety, and just improve our overall mood. So get comfortable, find a space you'd like to be in. Today we're gonna do a new one. And this is called square dot breathing. So we are gonna follow the little dot as it moves around the screen. And so when the dot is on the top or the bottom of the box, we're gonna be breathing in through the nose. And then as it goes up and down the sides, we are gonna be blowing out. So I want you to focus on the dot, focus on your breathing, and focus on your mindful minute. Here we go. Excellent job, you guys. Hopefully you were able to focus on the dot and shut everything else around you. It's good sometimes just to shut it all out and kind of get focused on yourself for a little bit. Okay. So, are you looking for more? Today's home extension idea goes along with our warm-up. So today we warmed up with just a simple piece of paper. I want to know what other exercises you can come up with using a piece of paper. And I would love for you to share your ideas with me on social media using the hashtag HPE at home and M-H-E-P-E. -E. And I want to see what you come up with. And guys, the paper doesn't have to stay flat. You can do whatever you want with this paper. So be creative. Show me what you got. I'm excited to see. Okay. The resources used in today's class are listed here. Um, Phys Ed Review, a lot of our ideas today from them, our breathing activity from Matthew Holbin, um, all kinds of good stuff there. And remember, these links can be found in our link section of our YouTube channel as well. And last but not least, kind of the sad part of my day, I am so thankful for you guys. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to join you in your living room. I hope you have a wonderful Heart Healthy Day. Thank you so much for letting me bring you physical education and joining me for some exercise today. I know it makes my day so much happier and I hope it brings a smile to your day too. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.